what's going on guys welcome back to the channel my name is Andre the host of our channel behind me is my new 340i BMW the twin turbo six I'm just kidding guys I didn't get a BMW although I know all you Beamer fans have been asking me to get a BMW haven't done it just yet that's Christian's car Christian is inside taking great care of the Viper it's getting a full paint correction on the car and uh, Christian's been doing this for about a decade now and uh, we met on Instagram and he came out the next day after we spoke and he's doing a full paint correction on the Viper. He's done the back half of the car so far and it looks absolutely pristine. Look at this, you guys. And it's not even done yet. The car looks wet. It is, it's, it's never looked this clean before. This is incredible. I screwed up a few spots over here when I was powder coating the gas cap, but it looks like it's brand new again. I can't wait to see the finished product. The uh, hood on this car had stripes. You guys recall the two black stripes. There was some residue on it. He's cleaned all that up. I couldn't get it off for the life of me. I tried everything from, uh, from, from polish to nail polish remover and all kinds of crap. Nothing seemed to work, but he got it off in just seconds. It looks beautiful now. We're gonna get this thing squared away in a few minutes here. What? Lots of you guys have been asking for me to do a full review on the Evo, which is right behind me over here. It's the first time I'm actually doing a review on this car since the wrap has been complete and the car has been put back together since we had that big turbo issue with uh, Borg Warner. But the car is now running up to par and everything is fantastic. So we are going to get moving on the Evo today and uh, we've got a lot of cool races coming up on the channel. It's what you all want to see. You guys want to see all the cars racing, everybody in the world. So you're going to see that. This thing should be running up to par and uh, I'm going to get this thing fired up for you guys and show you guys all the cool little gadgets and components that we've added to the car. So you're about to get a true cold start on the Evo. It's not some violent cold start like you would hear on the Gallardo. It's uh, quite subtle actually and it's an E85 cold start so it's not going to rev up like crazy and sound like a beast right off the bat but I'll show you guys what this thing sounds like with the exhaust open and the exhaust close which is right over here this button down opens the exhaust this button up closes the exhaust we've now added headlights to the car ladies and gentlemen this car never had headlights before all it had was the LED strip around the light we've now added headlights to this cluster over here and we have headlights which is quite exciting and um, alongside that this car never had a horn now it has a horn right down here check this out That's my horn, and I love it. All right, let's hear this cold start. Woo! Fired right up. Boring. 
and you know it's a cold start because look at that water temperature it is like as cold as ice look at that beautiful so this thing fired right up i'm on a stock ecu so for all the haters that have been saying oh you can't have a cold start fire up on first crank on a stock ecu i tell you you sure could if you go to ronnie speed lab he built this damn thing thing started up on its first crank on a cold start and i haven't driven this car in like six days last sunday was the last time i drove this car and today's saturday so it's been six days it's been sitting and this thing fired up on its first freaking crank that's pretty awesome ronnie kudos to you buddy speed lab the place to go if you've got an evo you know where to take your car this thing is dialed in i can't wait to show you guys all the good stuff that this car is going for it we'll start with the exhaust cutout one of my favorite features you guys could tell car's quiet car's quiet i'm too old for loud exhausts but i do understand the loud exhaust oftentimes adds a lot of power especially to a force inducted car check this exhaust out man all right i'm gonna open the door here i'm gonna hit the button right here And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we have a beastly exhaust on the Evo. Wow, that sounds good. I'll show you guys the difference while we're driving. It's a huge difference. When the exhaust is closed, it's dead silent. When the exhaust is open, it sounds like hell on earth. So we'll get to that in just one moment, okay? Uh, we've also added the horn right down here. Why in the hell would you put a horn here, you might ask? Well, I can explain to you. Let me turn this thing off so you can hear me again. Why? Because if I'm out roll racing, with, which is what all you guys want to see is me racing, I got my hand on the shift knob right here, I've got my horn right down here, and I'm going to have my GoPro, this camera right over here, mounted onto my wrist. So you figure this much, okay? You've got your wrist right here, you've got the steering wheel over here, right? The GoPro is going to be right over here mounted onto my wrist, right out of the window. Usually, most cases, we're going to win the race. So. I can have my right hand on the shift knob, okay? We no longer have to use the air horn anymore, which you guys all love so much, I'm sorry. We've got the air horn now embedded into our car. So, shift knob here, hand on the wheel right here, GoPro facing this way. I can go beep, beep, beep right over here, as you guys heard. What a great horn. <laughs> So I've added that myself. It was quite fun to do. Um, I think it's a nice little touch to the car. Oh, and I've also done the same on the Viper. So we'll show you guys that one later. All right, this is the Evo. We're gonna go out for a ride. Uh, we're pushing, I'd say just over about 800 all wheel horsepower, which translates to a little bit over a thousand at the crank. If you wanna put numbers into literal terms, I know a lot of you guys like to quote your crank horsepower numbers for some odd reason. So. Crank, call it over a thousand, wheel just over 800. Um, and let's hit the road. All right, we're on our way to pick up Mr. Hurrican right now. If I'm yelling, it's because my exhaust is open and very loud. Let's go get him. Oh, literally 120 miles an hour right there. <laughs> Jesus, this thing rips. <laughs> wow. 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 Oh my God. I just hope the audio on my mic captures all of the, this entire symphony here. It's incredible.
like the backfiring thing, but if the car can back it up and it has the balls to support all that action, I'm down. But if it's some clapped out BMW with a stock fucking setup and a some lousy tune making backfire noises. <laughs> Save it. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to f***ing hear it. But Jesus, this thing is running on point. On point. Wow. Woo, that's fun. I can't wait to get some runs in for you guys. Get some races going. Show you guys how this thing performs next to exotics and whatnot. I think it's going to do very well. Very, very well. I don't know if it's faster than the Viper. But it's uh, definitely going to be a strong runner-up. But hey, there's only one way to find out what's faster. This is the Viper. It's only one way to find out. And we will find out. For now, we're almost at Chris's house. He's in for a treat. Two seconds later. So I've got Chris next to me right over here. What's going on, guys? And... Uh, I'm on my little uh, mount on my wrist I told you guys about. I was really excited for it. So if it's really close to my face, that's why. And uh, Chris, it's your first time back in this car since this new setup with the turbo. What are your... I, don't, I don't remember it being this loud. That's normal, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You saw the setup in the engine bay in the compartment with the turbo it's the turbo. it's up top now it's not like down here anymore how do you like the you setup now you hear everything when i drove it all you hear all you heard was exhaust really now you hear the turbo spool up you hear the exhaust you hear the intake sucking in air you hear everything now amazing amazing uh, decision and then what about the horn you want to help us with the horn <laughs> you like that <laughs> is that a you should put a train horn here it's a bus horn right now ah uh, you gotta upgrade to the train that's next <laughs> at this moment that he knew he fucked up all you hear is like the turbo whistling down you know that's i wonder if that pick uh, it's picking it up i hope not. so i it sure hope so ridiculous I, i've never stepped on it in first gear but now's a good time to give it a shot huh why do i feel the heater <laughs> went like 10 to 100 miles an hour right there 110 oh, in Mexico City yeah yeah Jesus so we're back we're back in the cities of Mexico now and I don't want to record here so we're gonna end it short today guys thanks for tuning in that means hit the subscribe button just push it now bye